Hello, everyone, and Happy New Year. Welcome to another episode of Sundays with Sprinkles. I'm your host, Brett Sprinkle. Joined beside me, as always, minus one week ago, is my brother, Tyler Sprinkle. And Hello. And our producer, Brandon, is on the call as well. Hello, gentlemen. How are you doing? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. It's, um, you know how people do those, like, um, every once in a while, they'll just do, oh, I'm, I'm not going to drink for this month. Um, mm-hmm. I think I'm going to do that. I'm doing that. Really, you want to do it with me? I'm doing that. I need to. I was, huh? Maybe I'll do it next month then. Shut the fuck up. No, it's just like, you know, the, the broadcast <laughs> schedule starts back up next week and I just want to like lose, or not next week, next month. And I just want to like, you know, shed some easy pounds before, you know, I have to get back on camera again. So that's why I want to do it. Gotcha. It's just going to be tough. You know, the boys coming over, play college football. Oh yeah. No, I'm having a beer during the playoffs. Like that's what I, I like PFT commenters like almost dry January. You know what I mean? Pretty much dry January. Yeah, pretty much dry January, except for days when you like want a beer or like you know you're yeah, out. You can always. Beer. It's basically no hard liquor. Yeah, no hard liquor. You know, but I don't keep it nice. I and don't nice. really drink liquor anyway, so I'm already That's doing that. Point. I just did way too many rumple shots in the month of December. Like it was, oh, it's God. disgusting. Yeah, no, it's not great. I guess that is the Christmas drink, so it makes sense. Well, no, it's just we have a bunch of regulars in my bar. That's all they do is just down the shit. You know how many? You know how many times I've been at work and had to go to ABC just to get rumplements. Have you ever seen that Scooby Doo? You've seen the Scooby Doo movie. It's like the Witch's Curse or whatever it is. Yeah, where, where Scooby, uh, Scooby and Shaggy are in the. Oh, I'm a hex girl. Yeah, oh, yeah. You. So it's like that scene where they're in the diner and Scooby and Shaggy literally eat him out of all of his food, and he has to go to the mm-hmm. grocery store to get more food. That's basically like my bar, but with rumplements. These fucking hyenas, dude, just downing it. You know, speaking of that, where do they get the money for all that food? You know? Yeah, because like, they got I mean, to be spending the be- majority of it on drugs. And they can't be making that much money regardless. I mean, I think there's got to be a reason why Buddy's eating dog snacks. Or they just taste good. Shout I mean, out they probably, I mean, it's probably a little column, <laughs> a little column B, but, uh, you know. I had. I have to. I assume that if he had a bag of chips lying around, he'd be eating a bag of chips. Okay. Well, I do have another question before we get started here. Uh, I saw a TikTok Tyler. of the what? No, I was calling on you for your other question. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, <thought> I, was <laughs> muted. Um, I saw a video of the best SpongeBob songs, and there's a clear number one in my mind. Um, but Brandon, I would mm-hmm. like you to chime in on this as well. What's your favorite SpongeBob song? My favorite SpongeBob song is hands down best SpongeBob song is the one where they're playing at the Bubble Bowl, right? I guess the best SpongeBob yeah. song. That is, that is a top tier one. Yes, I I feel like that one's tough because it's clearly the best produced. Yeah. So I, if you're going for like a well, sweet, I think sweet, sweet, I think the sweet, Goober sweet. Rock song is the best produced one. Oh, you know what? Yeah. That one too. That was a good one. The SpongeBob. I forgot about the SpongeBob movie. I was thinking about the episodes, but yeah. God, that's, that's the only one. song that comes to my mind, and that's not the best. I mean, there's like Gary Come Home. There's like F is F U N. Yeah, yeah uh, the Rip My that's Pants good. song. Mm-hmm. There's um. Who Rip My Pants is song, high key a banger too. Yeah, yeah, rip it my is. Pants. I rip. But it's my pants. it's this grill is not at home. That you know what I, I was I was gonna I was gonna start to argue for Can we, uh, rip rip pants, but I think you're onto something. This grill is not a home. It's not coming up in my head I right now. Gave it all away. I mean, it's <laughs> you'd come back to stay. Hold on, let me see. This let me grill get is not the same without you. It's a banger. I mean, it's the best song. Oh, okay. I see you, Mr. Krabs. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I remember it now. Yeah, I'm with you. That's a good one. Yep. Really got some grit uh, if you, to it. If you, uh, if you are listening to the podcast, I know this is great podcasting. I would search "This Grill Is Not a Home." It is on the Sponge official SpongeBob SquarePants YouTube video. I would, yeah, highly recommend you going to watch it because it is fire. It is a banger, and Mr. Krabs snaps. If you can find just a, it's probably about an hour hour-long compilation of just spongebob songs you're not gonna have a bad time is that what you did with your new year's 
is that how no, you're but it? thinking of that now, I, I wish I would have. Yeah, <laughs> there's got to be a way to like time it up so like there's an absolute bar as the clock strikes midnight. Oh, when he when he he's and then the goofy go bar right on New oh. Year's. Yeah. Also, real quick before I disappear back into my producer's box, um, every New Year now for the rest of my life, I'm thinking about how Ohio State fans were about to watch their team upset George and go to the national championship. Then as the clock struck midnight on the new year, they shank a field goal and now their season's over. I, th- I think about you know, that all the time. I completely forgot about that, um, which is a travesty. But I think I mean, that's what I'm here for. I don't want anybody I ever love to th- to not ever know that about that. My, cause my yeah, that was, was bizarre. Oh, it will never happen again. Anything like that. No, they'll make sure of it because like there was literally almost a civil war between people who wanted to watch the football game and people who wanted to watch the ball drop and bars all around America were having this fight and argument and debate. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Oh, yeah. I mean, I was in a bar at that time and we had one TV that we had to just at least, you know, at least switch so people knew it was fucking midnight. But yeah, no, it was all football all the time, baby. Football's and then there's this beautiful well, little they- intersection in those two people that are Ohio State fans at New Year's Eve parties. Ready to ring in the new year. Three, two, one. Woo. Well, I I guess it didn't really matter too much for you, Brett, because it was midnight central time that that happened. So it was. Oh, maybe that's why I'm thinking about. Wait, no, it was midnight. Oh, yeah, it was midnight Eastern time. It was midnight Eastern. Maybe that's why you guys don't remember. I remember. It's very memorable for me because that happened. I guess I forgot. I I forgot you guys live in different time zones. (laughs) Yeah. So, so that that, that's another layer on top of this. If it was midnight in the West Coast, it wouldn't matter. But folks in Ohio, yeah, ringing in. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. Goosebumps. It'll. It'll. We'll never see anything like that again. That's my. That's my Roman Empire. Speaking of, I saw you mention. Go ahead. People watch the ball drop. I mean, uh, it's so weird. It's so weird. I did, yeah, and especially, yeah. you know, as you get to the different time zones, it's all replay. Mm-hmm. No, right, I was literally watching one stream that was just showing fireworks from like twelve hours ago. Like, I get it, dude. Yeah, it was New Year's in South Korea. I don't need. I don't care anymore. I'm moving yeah. on. There we go. On to the next one. I like it. But um, no, I agree with you. I was watching. Um, I just kind of turned it on just because uh, they didn't really. I didn't know what else to watch. Maybe that's how they get you. There's really nothing else on. You just got to watch the ball. That's shitty fucking ball drop. Yeah. Yeah, because the NFL game was over by then, which I had a lot of money on the line in that game, kind of. Which game was that again? The Packers-Vikings. Okay. Ah, yes, I did see that game. I do remember that game. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to point it. I'm going to say it right now. I'm going to put all my cards on the table here. I did not watch much football this past weekend. So, I mean, my takes are going to be about the same as normal. It's not like it's going to change much. Um, but it was a fun weekend of festivities. I watch football when I can, but mostly I was working through a lot of the games, so I didn't really get to see much of it. Uh, but one thing I did saw, and I want to bring it up because I saw Brandon tweet about it, was the Texas-Washington game, the throwaway with one second left. It did bring back mm-hmm. memories of Texas-Nebraska, Colt McCoy, and Dominic Back Sue. when Brett liked Texas. Yes, still like Texas. Mm-hmm. Still like Iowa. Mm-hmm. Those are my boys. Yeah, we're oh, right together. we died together. You did not know Bad that. Boys for life. What? Yeah, I was a Texas fan. Not. Yeah, you did not know that. <laughs> Just so everybody knows, Brandon's literally throwing up right now. I had a um, I had a Vince Young jersey, Brandon. I ha- I got it the year they won the national championship. It solidified my fandom. So I had a Texas face too. I'm not gonna lie. I did. Well, no, I was playing. <laughs> I came from like I was playing Cedric. I was playing with Cedric Benson and like NCAA 2K21 or 2001. NCAA 2001, and it was awesome. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm Texas. Awesome. I love them. Yeah. I, so, so that was right when I had moved to Nebraska. So I was still kind of in flux. Couldn't watch Colorado very, very much anymore. Still wasn't really bought in. So then, yeah, when that Vince Young season came on, I was all in. I then, uh, and then I grew up. <laughs> so did I. Now I just watch. Was, now I root for punts. It was his emo phase, if you will. Yeah. His rebellious phase. Fuck you, yeah. mom. I'm a Longhorn fan. Horns up. Mm-hmm. I mean, that, that is actually so pretty mad. much what it was. My dad was was sick <laughs> when, when, whenever I would wear a Texas hat around him. So that yeah, you know that's exactly what it was. Rage against the machine. Now you are the machine. 
Mm -hmm. Now I am the machine. You and Green Day. You are the machine. Sucks to suck, I guess. I don't know. That was just something I saw that I remembered. Um, I was sweating out all the games on Sunday. So Brandon and I were playing in the national, or yeah, the national AFFNL championship. Oh yeah, and, fast football um, still going on. I forgot. Not anymore. You know your champions have been crowned. Brandon, I'd like for you to take a victory lap. You know, <laughs> I beat the brakes off of me. I averaged an easy one sixty two in the playoffs. I mean, that's it. I've never that done that easy. before, let alone in back to back games. Um, it's funny because as soon as I got, uh, as soon as I advanced to the championship, I had started like crafting my my victory speech that night like just in case and then uh and then I, I just ended up posting in the group chat just i am champion well and then then going and collecting other seats absolutely uh i mean hey collect them put them in a book i think i mean i think you deserve it i think you earned it it'll trade i mean i i got to imagine seth lost some sleep at some point last night he he was he was heated. He was heated, if I'm being honest. But I need to go um, back on Facebook then. I mean it Oh oh you'll you'll appreciate it. I, he's a big numbers guy, so I brought some numbers with me, don't worry. Um, <laughs> Good, I can't wait. <laughs> trajectory wise, you know, came into the league first two years uh, playing fantasy football, finished last. Tough. What? And then finished in fourth last year, also at the hands of of Tyler or the, the new Brady Manning in the in the league. And then now I'm in first place, so I figured it out. So you did figure it out. You know else. what? I'm gonna I you know pick on you, but I'm giving you flowers. Congratulations, Brandon. No, he's a Champion. dude. Did you did I tell you what he fucking does? No. He has a spreadsheet of everybody's draft picks for the last four years. And he combs them meticulously to see where people will take other people. So if he's like, Oh, I want this guy, oh Seth picks next. And two years ago, he picked him at this spot. So if I want him, I got to take him now instead of trying to wait till the next round to get him. He's a fucking psycho, and he cheated. I kind of like that. That's pretty good. Dude. That's pretty good. Kudos to you, dude. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of fucking work. And the fact well, that he he made it pay off. He's an analytics guy. He's like the Tampa Bay Rays of fantasy football. Well, the funny thing is, so I was doing mock drafts, getting ready because I, you know, I do hit the gym quite a bit when it comes to fantasy football. And then I was going through. I'm like, these guys don't draft like this. So now I'm going to figure out how they draft. And then I came up with a, a game plan. And then three picks in, somebody took Travis Kelsey. And I'm like, fuck all this research. This is chaos. I'm, <laughs> none of this matters. None of this research matters. Yeah, that uh, last year might be a blip here just because of how drunk we all were while that draft was going on. I was I was blacked out. I don't. I picked one person. I think that was A.J. Brown. Which, and by I the way, it, we discussed this. No, Chris McCaffrey. Chris McCaffrey, I think. Chris McCaffrey made it to you? Yeah, he did have Christian McCaffrey. Yeah, Christian McCaffrey and Angie Brown. Why did Luke make the draft for during the uh, Nebraska game? We um, probably just discussed this, but I don't remember. Yeah, we discussed it. Um, it just it probably just worked it out. It just made sense. For yeah. Brandon apparently, it just made sense. As long as Austin didn't win, I don't care. I'm happy that somebody yeah. else is the winner. You should have uh, did your yeah. highness. You should have did like or your rock the rock thing. Ooh, Glass Trevor, Shatter, Cole, Steve, Stone Cold Steve Austin coming in. Don't worry, Trevor already got him. So don't. Did worry. he? Am I just missing so much stuff? Do we just need? To, I didn't need a, a iMessage group chat because I don't. Uh, I'm gonna make to... Luke set yeah, that I, up. De so sure. I deactivated my Facebook for for years, and the only time mm -hmm. I ever hop on is is for this fantasy football league. Yeah, I don't have the app on my phone. I just go to the website. It's insane. Um, I would also well, so like Tyler, to use the platform as champion to uh, lobby for a dynasty league starting next year. Just want to throw that out there. Mm, I'll start think, that campaign think, here shortly. I got a plan. I think it'd be easier to transition to a keeper league and then a dynasty league, or unless we just start over from scratch with a dynasty draft. I don't know. Well, yeah, start over. For I don't know what that would look scratch, like. I think. But that's a lot of work for Luke. We probably have to switch apps. Everyone's been using yeah. a sleeper app. Yeah, I think it's probably time to do so but i like the espn app it's easy i like it too and, and plus they have all of our like our league history in it too that's That'd true be yeah because to to i'm not i'm not recording it just once it's gone it's gone oh I'll don't worry i'm probably spreadsheet. recording it yeah <laughs> 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 you 
<laughs> he knows where the fucking bones are buried. Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, I mean, you guys yeah. watched the games this weekend. You guys had things on the line. How did the games go? What were some of your biggest takeaways? Um, it was really, really stressful for me. Um, because it, pretty much everybody played at noon. So that was a lot to just handle. Um, and I was after the noon games, I had one open spot left and I had Kenneth Walker or Romeo Dobbs to play. And I was up 108.44 to 107.88. So I took out Kenneth Walker. Um, and then in some, for some reason, I've never been affected by this, but I started thinking about stack corrections. So then I started fucking sweating. I'm like, dude, what happens if this is a stack correction? Because it was less than a half a point. So I was terrified. Or I guess no, it was over half a point. It's like 0.66. So, but it's less than a point, regardless. And I was just sweating. Um, so then I wasn't going to start Romeo Dobbs because I was like, what if what happens if he catches a ball behind the line of scrimmage? He fumbles it and he dies. Then I lose. <laughs> Granted, also not very likely. Uh, but it all worked I remember out. I've having this conversation with you. Yeah, it all worked out. I started him. Um, I won. Uh, Romeo Dobbs got me four points, 4.6. So that's enough to take home the dub. Winner of 900 bucks and mm. the trophy. They have a trophy in this league, so I get the trophy. And guess that's what? Dope. Do you, I don't do think. You have it with you? No, not yet. They, they print out um, name plaques. So my team name is Luke wants a lot of pizza, which is a, a callback joke to when we were in college. Um, and Luke wanted a lot of pizza. Fuck, dude. That was my first guess, too. Damn it. I mean, so they ordered a bunch of pizza to their house and uh, the dude ate two and a half pizzas. So that's where the joke kind of comes from. Mm hmm. And he, he hates it. So the fact that that's going to be on the trophy for years and years uh, is more than enough for me to love that championship. You've cemented Luke's pizza eating legacy. Yeah. And Brooke's name was Luke wants pizza. And, <laughs> and then my name was Luke wants a lot of pizza. So. Oh, hell yeah. So that's kind of the trend is like whoever has Luke in their team name, they were going to win the championship. Yeah. Yeah. So that that's incredible. That's where I'm at. Well, congratulations to you. Congratulations to Brandon. I, uh, you know, I'm not bitter. You know, it was a tough year. We, I, I battled hard. I, you know, I was I was right there on the cusp. Had I make the, had I made the playoffs in at least uh, my one of my leagues, one of my three leagues, I definitely would have won the championship. So I can hold my head high knowing that I built a good enough roster after it all went to shit to start the season. Just More want to throw it out there. You had down. Drew Locke as your starting quarterback the last three weeks. I don't think you're beating anybody. Have so, <clears throat> Brandon. I'm in three leagues, and we've already discussed that the league that I'm in with you guys and Tyler and Brandon and Trevor and Seth and Austin that league's been done for a while. And I started mm -hmm. Drew Lock because I was like, you know what, Drew Lock starting. I think it was against the, uh, the 49ers a couple weeks ago. I was like, I'm starting Drew Lock. I don't care. I haven't looked at my lineup since. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I haven't cared about it. it. Hasn't been worth my time. Well, maybe Nelson that's Northie. why. Well, that's why we need a dynasty league, so you can at least start, uh, you know, being engaged for next year. Maybe you even start tanking. You know, I might start tanking. Tanking would be kind that of that would piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> Just that trade for so draft funny. picks, dude. I'm going to trade for so many draft picks. I'm going to have like 19 draft picks in the next two years. Just fucking get every single rookie. This can you out. just imagine like two fellas battling for the number one pick, just starting the just the most disgusting lineups you've ever seen in your life. That's well, what, that's the Bears. What. The Bears are about to get the Broncos' next seven first-round draft picks. So, whenever they trade for Justin Fields. and and Pat Sertan. So. <laughs> oh, whoa, okay. okay, all right. Uh, Art no. of the deal, Tyler Sprinkle. I mean, might as well no, throw in, I, might as well throw in Javante Williams if we're just going to get another running back out of it. Actually, can we talk about it? Is Javante Williams good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, he's a better. Yeah. I mean, I think some folks would it's say like, just, looking he's at better running off of a major knee injury. He's, um, he's he electric, have the he's explosive, explosive, but looking at the and stats, the vision just, isn't there right now, which is kind of what you want. It's the the you know if he's not that explosive, 
I'm on your I'm on your side. I, I want to ask a question. I'm starting a dialogue. Right. I just want to ask a question. I'm not going to pull quick right holes in it. I'm curious. The Bears get four first round picks from us, um, and then they get Pat Sertan and Javante Williams. Does that make you feel better? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, we don't need we don't need all those running backs. Justin Fields would be. Or good. those all those first round picks. We're not getting Justin Fields. We're trading for the number one overall pick. Oh, oh, that's what we're oh. doing. Oh, oh, okay. oh, that's well, on I me. That's now. on me. Yep. Uh, yep. That's I, my I misread the situation. Because uh, we're getting, I don't <laughs> think it's on you, Brain. I think it's on Tyler for not adding context. Uh, you think you're going to trade that many first round draft picks and Pat Sertan for fucking Justin Fields? Yeah, I thought you were being silly. Yeah, I thought you were being silly. You're being goofy. No, I'm you're being dead bit. honest. We're about <laughs> to go. Like a... He's so hard again in a trade to get I Drake you... May, and he's. Probably going to be the next Paxton Lynch, and then oh, we're yeah. going to just be right back to square one. The second the Broncos draft Drake May, bust. The second the Patriots draft him, next Tom Brady. I have no doubt in my mind. Yeah, that worked out real well. I don't for know. Mac Jones and Bailey Zappi. I don't. Every they've never developed they've, a quarterback. Those guys were not. They've never developed Kobe a quarterback. Percent. They drafted yeah. a guy in the He's sixth gone. round one of these years, and he. Um, Which year was that? By the way, was that was that within Tom the last? Two and a half decades. It was with. Wait, was it within the last two and a half decades? Yeah, it was. Yeah, wait, yeah, it was I, 90, yeah. It was within the last two, 25 years. Twenty five. years. No, it was two thousand. The two thousand draft. Yeah, two thousand one. Oh, so barely, barely made my barely. Draft. Yeah, hey, you know, you you set the goalposts. I didn't. So not in the last. But two uh, I mean, Jacoby Brissett's made a lot of money being a solid backup in the league. Uh, J- Jimmy Garoppolo's made a lot of money just being handsome. That's how you cultivate talent, but you know, at the quarterback position. Also, they he, they did neither of those things in New England, by the way. I guess Jimmy Garoppolo's always been handsome, but well, how are they going to do anybody. anything? How are they going to do anything with fucking terrific Tom Just hogging up all the spotlight? They taught these guys the skills necessary, mm-hmm. and then send them on their way. That's the so, Patriot. Um, also, can we talk about how Jared Stidham's kind of a loser? He's in nice. the fact that he said that he's not. He doesn't feel like he's playing for a starting role on the offense. Well, yeah, he's Sean Payton's guy. He doesn't have to do well. He just has to not be Russell Wilson. Yeah, but you would expect him to maybe want to start. Well, I mean, he's got. I I know it's it's an uphill battle, but I mean, you got to at least want to start. I mean, you're put in that same position. Hmm. Do the Broncos are? The, do you think the Broncos are going to like put all their chips down on me to be their starting quarterback in 2024 after the way they just handled the Russell Wilson situation? I mean, I got to imagine they've had conversation where Sean Payton's like, "I love you so much. I'm going to bench Listen, our 50 not, million dollar quarterback or a Super Bowl winning quarterback just so we can, you know, get you some no, starts here." I, you know, I missed last week and that comment. Oh, alone, you did? Wait, what happened? I'm so happy that what? I wasn't here. Because Brandon would have just pissed me off. <laughs> and that's all I'll say. That's all you'll say? Did you listen yeah. last week? We said a lot of nice things about you. Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, but what then, uh, <laughs> so it was the fact that Brandon was side by side, Patrick, side by side, ding, jeez. Patrick Holmes and Russell Wilson numbers and saying, oh, how is this? How is he getting benched? How is he getting benched? Because it's not the same fucking game. Well, I, I'd also like to mention, I, I don't remember do making that? that point, but if I did, it would be because I think the Chiefs should bench Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, or they need a good quarterback. That, that would be the agenda that I'd be pushing there. Is that maybe Chiefs they should trade for Justin away. Fields? They should. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, they'd be. Oh yeah, give him to right Chicago. Make it right. right. Brett, are you wearing gloves? No, just my hoodie. Oh. I thought you were wearing podcasting gloves. I wish. God, I wish I was that fucking cool. Take this Maybe one day. On the road. <laughs> Take this podcast to the next fucking level. I already got the mic. Just need the gloves. Then we're ready to go. Yeah. Um, sorry, we kind of got a little off topic here. Yeah, but, I also um, forgot where we, where we even were. Yeah, Russell Wilson. Um, you know, fantastic fella. But uh, see you later, big dog. It's just, I mean, we knew at the beginning of the season it probably wasn't going to work out. And, he, you know, to his credit, he did improve. He played his fucking ass off. Yes. I think he'll be starting for another team next year. Yeah. No doubt about I couldn't, I couldn't sit there and watch him run into any more sacks for no reason. Um, 
I saw like his pocket game? presence in the New England game, like all those videos. Like it was just, it wasn't good. It wasn't great. Oh my goodness! And they're not a good team. The Broncos or the Patriots? Oh, yeah, no. Oh, yeah, no. What we really need is a is an offensive minded head coach who can come up with an offense to make his quarterback feel comfortable, so he doesn't have to run into defenders like he did for the first ten years of his career. Dude, y- I mean, you look. And you see wide open guys, and oh wait, you don't see him because you're fucking running around for no reason. Tyler, do you not keep this guy in check on your other podcast? Because he's just fucking running rampant with all these takes. He has a Drew Brees take that Drew Brees Drew Brees fucking sucks. He's just wild. He's out of pocket. Most it wasn't of that Drew Brees sucks. It's just that if the Saints had prime Brock Purdy, they would have won three Super Bowls. This guy is the epitome. Have we even of seen having... prime Brock Purdy? What are we talking no, about? No, we haven't. Oh god, Brandon what is the epitome that? of. The fucking people that have a Naruto avatar on Twitter that just runs their fucking mouths. That's Brandon's okay. face. No, no, no. Don't put me in class with those people. I have my uh, name. I have, my picture. I have a picture of me in Hi-ya. my profile picture. And fucking I still talk. Running around with his hands behind his back. <gasps> Gotta get the I, so fast. Well, I mean, the, the, the yeah. running motion is what, what, what it is. I, you know, it is what it is. But I don't hide under. I don't hide behind it any picture. That's my name. That's my photo. That's my cat. The hat the thing is, you might want to just that's transition into that because that's what you are. No. Yeah, just complete the final transfer. Fe- me- reach your final stage. You fool! I don't think I've ever read any of your tweets, Brandon, without going after. See, I'm like the exact opposite. I love seeing Brandon's tweets. They're hilarious. They're phenomenal. Actually, if you haven't I mean, followed him, if you haven't followed him on Twitter, tw- uh, Brandon, what's your Twitter handle? At Brandon Shannon. Shannon. At Brandon Shanaman. Oh, it's Shanaman. Just Shanaman. There it's oh, Shanaman. at Shanaman. Yeah, he's he's definitely worth a follow, especially if you want to make fun of him. I would definitely do that. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, you start Tyler tweeting in the meme. Um, you know, people are like, oh, this person died. Look at their photo, and it's just a giant black fellow with a massive schlong <laughs> sitting on the bed. But also dude. Photoshop Brandon's face on the tip. <laughs> Because he's a dickhead? Hmm. I guess I didn't think that. Okay. Yeah, I suppose. All right. No, hey, don't don't actually do that. That would be really mean if anybody's listening. That'd be cool. First one that does it, I'll give you a $5 gift card to Bass Pro Shop. I'll get in on that. I mean, I'm not a big spender. I'll give you, I'll add $3 onto that. (laughs) (laughs) So you're not going to match is what you're saying? I mean, I got bills to pay here. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. I hear that. Speaking of that, dude, like, there's been something wrong with our hot water. Apparently, there's just a, a water main breach. We have hot water during the day, just not at night. Once the sun sets, they said no more hot water. It's like the sun just keeping yeah. it warm. I think. Exactly. That's science. <laughs> and I'm, mm-hmm. I'm just baffled because I wait till like 9 o'clock or 11 o'clock to take a shower, and then I go in there, it's cold, and I'm just upset. Just boil a couple pots of water and just dump it on yourself. I did offer to do that for Zarina. She didn't like that very much, but, you know. She's not, you know, she's too too busy thinking inside the box. Yeah. You, if you're burnt, then there's no way you can be cold. Absolutely. 100 mm-hmm. percent Tyler, how'd you feel about the Pop Tart, by the way? Um, I mean, who thought that, that would be a fucking good idea? Me. Seeing you that mean, thing laying mean, there. Like, are you talking about the actual mascot or the I'm thing? talking about the Pop Tart bowl just as a whole, how it swept the nation. Oh. Yeah, that no, no. The Pop Tart Bowl was awesome. I'm talking about the thing that everybody ate and just laid there with its innards hanging out, with fucking eyes still just chilling there. It was pretty grotesque. I will say that. Yeah. That because crazy. like like in general, like it was supposed to be a live mascot that they're then eating. It's like a Mayan sacrifice, essentially. Right, and and they're just going to town. They're munching, no remorse. I mean, that guy could have still mm-hmm. been alive. There's no way he baked that fast, you know. No, yeah. Uh, but I thought it was awesome. It looks really cool. I can't wait till next year. They can, I can't wait till they switch up the flavors. Maybe a s'mores one next year. That'd be kind of nice. Mm, I kind of, kind of love the cherry ones, man. They're my favorite. Ah, the fruit ones are just too. I don't know. They're too sweet. But that doesn't that's what I like it's a stupid. That. Yeah, that's like a stupid thing to say when it comes to pop tarts. No, I, I know, know exactly what you're talking about, and that's exactly what I like about them. Okay, they're like they're so fake tasting 
and that's why yeah they- yeah yeah it was like artificial just like filling and stuff yeah. like that not to mention the fruit ones they don't have a lot of filling it seems like the s'mores one hella filling the also i do want to mention that i have some pop tarts in the house so while i was watching that bowl game i was like i bought to go eat a fucking pop tart genius marketing dude they and killed the strawberry one just like <clears throat> the one that was on the screen did you put a little like dent in it just so like you could you could pretend like you were eating the guy too no because you know, he had like that little dent like right here in his head no um, I ate it like in the first quarter, so it worked. Okay. Quick. <laughs> yeah. You were ready to go. I was like, "Hey, I already won the pop tart bowl. I'm sitting here watching eating a pop tart." Yeah. I like that. Good for you, man. I'm actually really jealous. I did not do that. The life of luxury. Um. Oh, one thing I did see actually this weekend. It was Saturday. The Sunday Monday night football on Saturday night. Lions Dallas Cowboys. That was bullshit, bullshit. right? That call there at the end of game. Yeah. And I hate I love how oh, people yeah. are coming out saying, well, oh, there's a call that went against the Cowboys on the last drive that would have worked. No, that's way different. Like you can like picking up or like missing a call is way different from talking about it, throw dropping the flag and still being wrong whenever you talked about it and dropped the flag. Like it doesn't that's completely different, especially on a game on, on yeah. a scoring play like that. Yeah, on something that you can literally avoid by talking to the ref and reporting as eligible, uh, and then the ref just doesn't pay attention. Um that's way different than not seeing a holding call or what was it tripping or some tripping. shit. Yeah. Which happens on a good amount of play. Like, you know, I would say 30% yeah. of the play, especially up the middle. And um, I mean, Nebraska got burned on a tripping, no call. So yeah, they probably, I mean, they're just playing hard, you know, mm. just playing hard. Mm-hmm. Just play a tough ball. Yeah. And also hurt um, one of our middle linebackers by, the act of tripping towards ACL on that play. So, yikes! Well, that's tough. Good thing we're talking about the lines, though. Um, uh, Good thing. Yeah, no, that was absolutely unfortunate. Uh, that everyone keeps talking shit about that ref crew, and apparently they're going to be on primetime television again this weekend for Raven Steelers. So that'll be fun. Yeah, I can't wait to see what they mess up. But they're not doing any playoffs, so it's fine. That's good because they're fucking dog shit. I mean, did that ref um, union is got to be the best in the league? Oh yeah, they're bulletproof, dude. That them and uh, the umpires union. Oh my god. Because like the they, I mean, NBA refs too. And is, what? Oh NBA, I, mean, I don't care about too. The NBA, I don't they, I mean, they affect a lot of them. What were you gonna say though? Um, the fact that Angel Hernandez is still able to. Um, umpire games is quite ludicrous, in my opinion. But here we are. The fact that he can be a ba- as bad as he is, still keep his job, and then sue the major and sue Major League Baseball for discrimination is insane. Yeah, you're right. The umpires union best in the business, undefeated. That's just insane behavior, and he's just getting away with it left and right. And he's going to be out there again next year. Yeah, if I ever, um, if I ever don't commit a crime. And somebody tries to sue me, or I get brought up on charges. I'm hiring the one of the umpires or ref union lawyers. <laughs> Good call. Undefeated. They make a lot of money. Yeah. Um, last thing yeah. I wanted to mention for this past week, though, Tyler, um, Lamar Jackson's really good at football, and so are the Ravens. Yeah, it sucks because old Shana Man over there had him on his fantasy team, and then I had him in my other league. So I was watching him completely destroy my season, but also win me another championship. But um, yeah, it was awesome. we were having a little trouble with your microphone, but I heard basically what you just said. I, um, yeah, it sucks when you're in the spin cycle like that. But I think you won more money in the other league than you did in yeah. our league, though, right? Okay. Yeah. So worth, I'd say worth definitely. Yeah. Um, and there's no trophy in our league too. We're really fucking up. We're slacking. Well, it's just hard because not everybody lives here, especially not now. Yeah. So we had, we were, we talked about it a little last week, but Mike leaving kind of bums me out. It's tough. Like I get it, I get it, but it just kind of bums me out. Yeah. Now Nikki's probably gonna leave. Oh. And oh, then I'm we'll, too busy. I'm running an entire resort. Then we'll never 
talk to, talk to them again. again. Yeah. yeah, we'll never see them again. Because they just, just live like in Colorado when, now. There's no way they're coming back to Iowa. Yeah, just like when Trevor left. I mean, it just it's kind of radio silence for a while. That's true. I think you just need to instill in him that the reason you stay in the league is to maintain contact. Mm. But I digress. So are we gonna are we gonna do a recruiting drive? Try to get him back? No, I mean Grant's already. I'm here for it, dude. I'll I'll fly him out, I'll buy him dinner, you know, have dinner with the family, talk to him, have dinner with his family, talk to him, you know. Get Make some sure of the you position put coaches out there. The cookies on his bed and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. We could do it. Photoshop pictures of him winning championships. It's because that's the only way he's gonna win. Just Photoshop. Yeah. He fucking stinks. He does. And we need him in the we need him in the league because he's yeah. so fucking bad. We need him back. <laughs> I can't have another fucking Trevor Murphy who I think I'm going to beat and then he just demolishes me. I can't have that. I just need someone who I can pick on. It's Michael Spade. In the other league, um, and this is the last fantasy football talk we're going to have this podcast because I'm already sick of hearing myself talk about it, but <laughs> he made the playoffs and just didn't set a lineup. Oh, yeah. No, we mentioned that last week. Yeah, no, he um, he actually battled hard, got into the playoffs. Won in, he won the last game of the season just to get in and then completely forgot to set his lineup. And then that weekend, he texts the, our group chat, oh, man, I completely dropped the ball. By the way, I'm not playing next year. Sorry. Mm, it's like, okay, I'm talking about Trevor Murphy. He didn't set he his did lineup the, either? He did the same shit, yeah. Oh, my God. What a couple, What a bunch of losers. Yeah. So he's like, I didn't know I got in. Well, fucking check your phone. <laughs> it, it tells you. It tells you have a matchup coming up. That's insane Anyways. behavior. Yeah. What a waste. What a waste so, of three months. But back to real football. Yeah, back to real football. Um, we have a bunch of playoff scenarios for this week. Um, have you read through them at all or any of them? I'm really excited for the Buffalo Bills one. So they can win and win the division or they can lose. And Pittsburgh can win. Jacksonville can win. And then they would just be out of the playoffs. I think that's the one I'm rooting for. That would be hilarious. Yeah. Um, the Texans Colts will be a good game. Uh, that's a win and you're in situation. Oh yeah. Um, Brandon and I have picked um, Houston to win the South. By the way, we it was an amicable decision. I mean, talk about the yeah, other I, South, the NFC South. Like nobody wants to win that shit. I don't want to talk about that though. The Buccaneers pissed me off last week. Dude, just win the fucking division. Like, you've been playing good football. You're going to let Dennis Allen come into Tampa Bay and beat you on your own field? God, I'm so fucking tired of that division. But now they get the Panthers. Now they get the Panthers, and they're honestly, they'll probably play them close to, like 13-10, be the final score. David Tepper's going to come down the field and just start fucking just drenching his fans with the hose. Yeah. What do we I got here? Oh, that. the playoff machine. Oh, here we go. I like this. Hold on. Let me go full screen here. All right. So who do we have set in stone already? Miami, Buffalo. Wait, actually, I'm trying to figure this out. We have Baltimore, Miami. Baltimore's the one seed, Kansas right? City. It's already decided. Yeah. And then we have San Fran, Dallas, and the Lions. On the other side, all clinched. That have like actually clinched, yeah. Honestly, shocker that Green Bay's in it, and the fact they're in a position to win and in, like that's kind of crazy for them. I didn't expect them to be here. And they lost the Broncos, so Who yeah, really they won? lost to the Broncos. So do the Browns, though. And I yeah. saw Miles Garrett's going to get Defensive Player of the Week or Defensive Player of the Year. He's favored, not against Garrett Bowles, though. And the Chiefs. Defensive player of the year when every week except for the one week he played against Scare Bulls. There you go. Put that on the trophy. I mean, yeah, we beat uh, five. Five playoff five, teams? Four. Right. Chiefs, Bills, Browns. Four. Did we beat? No, we didn't beat the Lions. Yeah, four. Packers, four. four. Playoff teams. Could have been more. Could have been more. Could have been more. It wasn't though. Uh, but looking ahead, I am. 
I'll be honest, I'm not that excited for this weekend. I'm excited to get the playoffs started because I'm just sick of seeing these teams be built up and then you know just fucking just smashed into the ground every single week, like we saw with the Dolphins last week. And we're gonna see it with the Cowboys again this week. It's just gonna be another frustrating week for the quote unquote good teams. There are two teams in my mind that are the best in the league. And I mean, it's not like it's a surprise. I would say it's going to be the 49ers and the Ravens. 49ers Ravens game that happened a couple weeks ago, all things withstanding. I still think that they're two very, very good teams. And I can see them be the one being the last one standing. What do you think? I mean, it's kind of it's kind of been all over the place this year with teams like blowing out teams, losing to shitty teams. Um but the two that have, well, I guess there's really only one that's remained consistent. And that's been the Ravens pretty much all year. Um, and this has been kicking the shit out of people, too. Yeah. Did you see that uh, Dolphins fans were bitching about the Ravens running up the score a little bit on them? <laughs> no. Hey, actually, I did a little bit. And it was after Bradley Chubb tore his ACL, which, you know, speedy recovery. Hopefully he gets better. But that's just funny that they're just dunking on him 56 and 19. Yeah. And then. <laughs> Literally earlier this season, they just kept throwing the yeah, ball. Yeah, they threw a the touchdown Broncos. pass, yeah, against the Broncos. Yeah, no, I didn't feel sorry for them at all. It was their just desserts. But see, that's yeah. the difference. are happening at the beginning of the season. Theirs is happening at the end. They're soft. They're not going to go yeah. far in the playoffs. They're going to be one and, and done. They should have just went for the record. I mean, they didn't hold any karma. They should have just went for the record. Good points. No one's talking about that. See, that's why you got to come to this podcast. You get the fucking those little nuggets, those little notes mm-hmm. of business. That we're talking about. Yeah, fuck the Dolphins, honestly, for that. Even though I have been watching Hard Knocks, Zarina made me watch the Hard Knocks episode with Alex Earl in it. Uh, I haven't watched it every week, but it's honestly not bad this year. I like Mike McDaniel. Tyree Kill's a good character. There's a few good characters in that. I usually get a good um, four or five weeks before the season starts of Hard Knocks, and then I'm done. Yeah. I mean, I'm usually right there with you because like, there's just so much football going on during the season that I just don't feel the need to have any more in my life. But uh, like I said, I've watched a couple episodes and it hasn't been bad, but I'm, not, I'm never pressed to, like, oh, man, I can't wait for this week's episode. I mean, did you see Tyreek's Hill, Tyreek Hill's house like, on fire? Down? Yeah. yeah, bro. Well, I guess it is. Fucking... But it was, it was on fire. It's fucking cooking up some shit. Ready to go. Trying to get to 2,000. How many more yards does he need to 2,000? <laughs> a lot. A lot, right? I think so. Brandon, can we get a stat nine... check, please? Oh, uh, so what an incredible season by him. And the fact that he's not even in the MVP conversation really just makes me think the MVP is stupid. It's a stupid award. If you're just going to give it to the best quarterback in the league, then why not just say the best? it's the best quarterback award? Most valuable player in my mind, Tyler, Alex Singleton. That's who should win the MVP. I mean, I guess he... Huh. I mean, it would have to be one hell of a game, but... Hey, the house was on fire. Fire. House on fire game. Oh, yeah. Brandon, could you do more stats? Uh, Could you look into every athlete who has had a house fire that week, their performance uh, shortly thereafter? (laughs) Uh, If you could compile all those for us, we'd really appreciate it. You don't have to do that, Brandon. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, you know he's got a spreadsheet or something. I mean, I he just the look on his face when you said that, he's like, dude, come on. How can you see him? I can't see him. Well, maybe that's by design. Actually, no, I prefer not to see him. This actually makes it more of a mystery. I'll be, I'm happy that you get to see him. Yeah. Um, do you want to move on? Talk about the games since we're talking about playoff scenarios anyway? Yeah. All right. I mean, Saturday, there's two matchups Steelers at Ravens. Ravens look like they're going to be resting some people. Uh, Steelers need to win, but I think they're pretty much. No, 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 right. They can get in. Hold on. We have these playoff scenarios right in front of us. Pittsburgh Steelers can clinch with a win in Buffalo loss or a win in Jacksonville loss. And then, you know, there's some ties in there. But, yeah, hey, Pittsburgh Steelers need to win as much as anybody else. Uh, Ravens are looking to be looking to rest some people, it looks like. What do you think? I mean, if if the fucking Steelers make the playoffs again. It's going to be so boring. And just get smoked. By well, at least right now, it looks like they would be playing the Browns, right? Yes. Um. Wait, no, they wouldn't be playing the Browns. They'd be playing the um. 
They'd be the seventh well, who seed, would... so whoever be the it'd be the two seed. Also worth mentioning, I'll do the, the playoff machine as we go, so we'll know who plays who at the end based on okay. your picks. Okay, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, we'll do it that way. I like, I that. like that idea. Okay. Okay. Uh, I still think the Ravens win. The Steelers suck. Um, it's gonna be Mike Tomlin though. Actually, hold on. I do want to know how they've already clinched the winning season, so there's nothing else to play for. <laughs> so they're nine and eight. That's all they needed. Yeah. I think the Steelers win this one. I really do. Do we have to be unanimous, Brandon? Would it help if we were unanimous? It, it can't. I'll be a tiebreaker. I think the Steelers win. Just because I, I don't think All the right. Ravens are going to play right. any starters. Steelers. Yeah. Put it on the board. Yes. Shout out Chicago White Sox. Uh, yeah, give me the Steelers. I mean, you're resting people. Ravens don't really have too much to play for. They're not going to want to get hurt before the playoffs. They're poised to go on a big run. They don't give a fuck about the Steelers this year. It's like a bug on the windshield. Sure. That's what I think. Uh, next game, Saturday, January 6th, also Texans at Indianapolis. They're playing the Colts. Colts are the underdog, but this game is pretty much a pick em. Yeah. I got to ride with my guys, the Texans. I told you. Brandon and I decided to be Texans guys, so we're huge in ride or die. Um, I am going with the Colts uh, just because Grant Cannon likes them a lot. Uh, that's his favorite team, so give me the Colts. And yeah, you can say, "Oh, what about the Steelers, Trevor?" Trevor's an idiot, so he doesn't count. <laughs> I was about to say that, but I'm glad you clarified that for me before I even had to clear that up. Yeah. Uh, okay, we need another tiebreaker. Brandon, Colts, Texans. Well, he's he's going to pick the Texans. I mean, yeah, I pick the yeah. Texans. He's, he's the boys. Yeah. yeah, he's our boys. Yeah, it's the, it's the boys. Um. All right, moving on to Sunday, we have Jesus Christ. We have the Buccaneers at the Panthers. Buccaneers are favored by five and a half. Just fucking this. Can we just get this 10 to seven game over with? Baker Mayfield's going to throw for 212 yards, though. Give me the Bucks. Yeah, give me the Bucks. He's going to throw for 212 yards. They're going to win, but it's going to be a boring game. Mike Evans is going to do something spectacular. I love Mike Evans. Is it crazy that him and Nick Merckx are like best friends? Just an I mean, odd friendship. That cloud. I know they. I know they know, did that. Uh, like I know they ad, did right? that uh, tournament together. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The Fortnite yeah. tournament way back when. All right, Buccaneers yeah. for us. Browns at Bengals is our next game. Bengals are favored by six against the Browns, but the Browns are resting people. I think the Bengals are pretty much out of contention at this point. Uh, I don't know. I probably the Bengals. The Bengals have a lot of pride on the line. It feels like that's where I would go. What about you? I mean, another game that just doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, give me the. No, yeah, they're going to be sitting people. It's like it's more of like a hey, is Jake Browning going to be our backup quarterback next year? Game. Yeah, which I think he's already kind of locked it up, in my opinion. But I think so too. But you know, it's at the NFL. It's fucking week to week now. So yeah, what what, what have you done for me lately? Mm-hmm. Yeah, give us both the Bengals. Who cares? Vikings at Lions. Lions still. No, not in contention for the number one seed. Cowboys are. Well, can you click? What if uh, the Lions win this game? What happens? Or is that going to mess it up? They do Stay move up. To the two seed. Yeah, which I, I guess, guess it doesn't if, really matter, but I would much rather face the Packers than I would the Rams, if I'm being honest. And they're starting Nick Mullins again. Yeah, give me the fucking Lions. Nick Mullins is just a gunslinger. He's That's crazy. Stinks. Yeah, he's not good. He's not a good gunslinger, but he's a gunslinger. Is there an option for ties on there? Oh, oh yeah, there dude. is. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, dude, we're about to have some fun Uh-oh. with this. Let's dude, go, yeah, we, might, we might pull out one of those. Yeah, give me the Lions. <laughs> give me the Lions, too. Uh, moving on, Jets at Patriots. Uh, Jets. Yeah, I mean, I this know. could be yeah. a tie. Speaking of ties, this could Put be it on the board. Tie, tie, tie. Put it on the board. Tie. That's our first tie of the week. Um, very next game, Jaguars at Titans. Jaguars favored by five and a half. The Titans looks like shit last week. So I don't really know what's going on with them. Are they tanking? Is, probably. Is Will Levis is playing? Is Tannehill playing? I think it's Tannehill because Will Levis went out last week. Yeah, with an ankle. Um, I mean, the Jags need this game. 
So give me the Jags. Well, I guess if the Texans win, I guess it doesn't matter, does it? The oh, they do get in. Oh, yeah. Give me the Jags. I think they have to win this game. Yeah. So Houston clinches the AFC South if they win, and Jacksonville loses. Um, Houston clinches a playoff berth for the win. Um, but if they don't win, they need a Jacksonville and Pittsburgh loss. So there's that. And yeah, like you said, Jacksonville needs to needs a win to clinch the division, or they need. This is my scenario. The Colts and Texans tie. They need a tie, and the Colts and Texans <laughs> need a tie. I want that to happen. Put that oh. on the board. That'd be electric. Do you, do you remember that game a few years ago? It was the fucking Raiders and um, Chargers. I think if they if they would have tied, oh, they yeah. both make the playoffs, and they were getting yeah. you know like really close to it in overtime. And then Brandon Staley's an idiot, or was it Lance Lynn? I don't know, it was one of their stupid fucking coaches that fucked it up. It's probably it's hilarious. <clears throat> yeah, uh, give me the Jaguars Texans too. Yeah, Jaguars they're playing for something. Yeah. Ooh, is Trevor Lawrence playing? I imagine he is. Yeah, I think. so. I don't know the extent of his in- injury though. I'm gonna look it up. I think it was just Trevor Lawrence concussion? news. He was cleared for practice. All right, yeah, it's practicing. He plays. Yeah. All right, cool. So we both have the Jaguars moving on. Seahawks at Cardinals. Seahawks do need to win this game in order to keep their playoff hopes churning along. But they're going to need a lot of help, right? Yeah, I thought they had. I don't say I thought they were in a better spot than this, but no, they need. Yeah, they need a win. Green Bay loss. They need a tie. <laughs> I love all the ties, dude. Yeah, they need a win and Green Bay loss in order to clinch the playoffs. That's what they need. Or they need just everybody in the league to tie. That's pretty much their only scenario. Um, I think if Drew Lock plays, the Seahawks win. Um, but I know he's not, so give me the Cardinals. Dude, please, I want to go back and see a just a running clip of every single episode of the show where we talk about the Seahawks. <laughs> and every <laughs> single one of our picks has been, if Drew Lock plays, yeah, give me the Seahawks. <laughs> yeah, it's easy. And I'm right there with you. If Drew Lock plays, give me the Seahawks. But he's not, so give me the Cardinals. <clears throat> Yeah, Kyler Murray's going to win one. Another one. That team's looking good. Hey, you beat the Eagles, even though the Eagles kind of fucking stink right now. Yeah, are they, Is it the Super Bowl hangover? Do you think they turn it on in the playoffs, or are they just kind of doomed right now? I really don't know, because, like, not that long ago, they were, like, at the top end of the league and everything, and now they just can't stop a runny nose. Well, they had a really easy schedule to start the season, especially the first 10 games, and then they went on that onslaught. You know, they faced all those really, really good teams. And, I mean, yeah, you get beat up, you get banged up, but, yeah, so you have to compete against those good teams. The Ravens have, and they just have not. Well, they did. They just lost the last one to the Cowboys. Right? I They lost to the 49ers. They lost to the Cowboys. Oh, and the, now the they're reeling too. from their loss to the Cardinals. Well, I That's not ideal Cardinals to end the really season. Team, but... No, they're not a really good team, but they're reeling from losing to a bad team. Sure. Um, I don't know. We'll get to that. Yep. <laughs> we'll get to that. <laughs> Next <laughs> is... Uh, Bears Packers? Yeah, the Bears. Yeah, give me Bears. Justin Fields. Yeah. Justin Fields' legacy game. He's going to ball out. He's, he's, hey, he's actually year. playing for his job right now, I think. Mm-hmm. But does he want to be there? Yeah, he definitely wants to be there. All right. Starting quarterback? I mean, you're going somewhere else. There's going to be not as much expectations, I guess. What do you think the Bears should do? I'm curious to hear your answer. I think they should keep him <clears throat> trade back. Um, uh, Brandon's got something to say. Let's hear it. I So I, I think you're actually going to appreciate this take. So I do just want to mention that the Bears knocking out the Packers would be as big of a win as they've had in the last 10 years. It would be poetic. It would be poetic. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that absolutely solidifies Justin Fields as a Chicago Bear legend. Just want to throw that out there. Well, that, that is a good point. That, I do love that take. But that does that mean that he plays and like he stays in Chicago? Legend or not, they're still going to do what they're going to do. I mean, we just talked about the trade package sending four first rounders for Justin Fields. So I thought the Broncos were sending seven. That's well, that was Patrick, Patrick Sertan, the, the second is like you know the equivalent of three first round okay, okay. It was if it was just Patrick Sertan, it was seven. But if you throw in Javante Williams, it's four. 
Can we throw oh, Jerry Judy okay. just in for free? I think we got to give another on the way back. We got to get rid of him. We have to give another pick. <laughs> That's a good one, Brandon. I like I like I like the cut uh, of your I think the there. Broncos you're feeling, you're win. Feeling good, feeling nice. I think oh, they end the who are the Broncos playing, win. Tyler? The Raiders in Las Vegas. Uh, yeah, it's um, Jared Siddham revenge game. I actually think this is one the Raiders are going to win. This is going to be stupid. I know it's going to be. I hate it. The Raiders are going to win this one. Javante Williams. I mean, we made it this far. I I would just like to see the Broncos win. Yeah, yeah, it's not like we can't approve our draft stock anymore. It's like yeah. it's done. Yeah, I'm. I, it would. Yeah, it would be kind of beneficial for the Broncos to lose. So I think that's why they're going to win. Because Sean Payton's trying to prove this. Jared, Jared Stidham's the guy. It's, well, plus you see how those he dorks have to that prove anything. He really doesn't. He's a Super Bowl winning coach, and he's just gotten all. He's got all the money in the world. The Broncos gave up literally like a, a first and second round draft pick just to get him. Like he's mm-hmm. has nothing to prove. All right. All right. Still think the Broncos win. Raiders. I do too. Wait, no, that contradict, completely contradicts what I just said. I think the Broncos lose here. And did you see all those dorks online talking about, oh, how is this even legal? Everyone that had the over total on the Broncos win for the season is fucked because they now they decided to bench their star quarterback. Oh, now he's a star quarterback? He wasn't a star no. quarterback. When, since when has he been a star quarterback? He's yeah. been an average quarterback, above average compared Not to what Denver. the league's put out this year. On Denver, it's. I digress. How funny would it be though if the only reason why Sean Payton benched us is because he had the Broncos under? <laughs> and then they still what, just kept. What was it even? Set? What was it even? Set? I think it was eight. Yeah, eight seven or eight. Oh, so they hit it. So it's a, either way, it's a. Yeah. Well, I just yeah, think it'd be funny if that's period. what was the logic behind it. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, just some injury clause. <laughs> <laughs> Well, how are they? How else are they going to, you know, get back that money that they're going to fucking have to eat? It's got to make all the bets in the world. Yeah. Um, give me the Chiefs. I mean, the Chargers are so bad. Chiefs at Chargers, yeah. Give me the Chiefs as well. Chiefs aren't really paying for much though, and Chargers really aren't playing for anything either. I mean, yeah, they're playing for their jobs next year, but they're not going to be playing as a team. Next game, Eagles at Giants. Um, Eagles really need to get right game here. You hate get right games, but this is the most get right of the get rightiest games I've ever seen in my life. So give me the Giants. I do fancy me some two rod. I love Tarod. I love Saquon. I love everything going on over there. Kayvon Thibodeau, he interests me because he's an absolute freak of an athlete, but he just disappears. He reminds me a lot of Chase Young, to be honest. And Bradley Chubb, um, yeah. Give me, um, give me the Eagles. Eagles. Brandon, it's up to you for a tiebreaker. I think he just chose the Eagles. Gotcha. Yeah, All I right. thought you both picked the Eagles. Um, but no, we. I'll, I'll pick yeah, the I'll, Eagles. I was just. Yeah, All right. Yeah, I was just pick okay. the Eagles. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Go birds. I'm not a man of my conviction. What in the Who hell? Burp on the what? Uh, <clears throat> to all of our listeners, we apologize that happened. Yeah, Belch Boy's fucking in his bag today, I guess. Yeah. All that fucking diet soda he's been drinking. Diet soda. Uh, next game, Rams at Niners. Rams are sitting. Matt Stafford, they're not really playing for much. Niners aren't going are gonna to be sitting people. I don't think Christian McCaffrey plays. So this game no. is going to be a tie. This game's going to be another tie. <clears throat> um, well, if... If the Rams are sitting Matthew Stafford, then give me the 49ers. Oh, yeah, the 49ers because, win, but I want to say this Brett Rippon looked so bad. Brett Rippon's not their quarterback anymore, is he? Is he not? That's Carson Wentz. Backup? Carson Wentz. It's the Carson Wentz game. Yeah, brother. Yeah. Holy Hop shit. on board, baby. Woo, woo. Uh, I think Trevor goes out there and gets the dub. <laughs> so give me San Francisco. San Fran. Uh yeah, give me the give me the 49ers as well. I thought we were gonna go on a tie going on a tie for this, but whatever. No, these even their backup the backups on the 49ers are probably way better than the Broncos. Who is sure. their backup? So, yeah. Same Mullins or 
Oh, it is Sam Darnold. You're right. Trevor gets yeah, the job done. Trevor. That's what you said. Yeah. yeah, that's my bad. I end up. That's on me. Uh, Cowboys at Commanders. Cowboys. I mean, there's seedings on the line here, but they pretty much have the playoffs scooped up. I guess they need to win in order to keep, you know keep the division. So that's important for them. Mm-hmm. 13 points. Uh, the Commanders are laying at home. I think the Commanders still have a little bit of fight left in them. I think they're going to play this one close, but I think the Cowboys will ultimately win. Yeah, I think I do too. Um, so how does that work then? What? Really? Why does Dallas have the tiebreaker? Because they, I think it's the series split. split. It's common opponents after a split. Oh, Brandon just fucked everything up. No, I don't see. I don't remember who I chose. So you better remember. There was a tie in here somewhere too. It was the Jets Patriots. Fuck yeah. Tie. There you go. Did we not talk about the Saints Falcons? Uh, Did we not talk about it? I guess not. <laughs> I mean, that that wasn't by mistake. I mean, that was... Did you want to talk about it? Okay. Uh, get, <laughs> Falcons and the Saints. Falcons. Give me the Saints. I think the Saints win. God damn it. I think the Saints win. Saints might win the division if they win. That's crazy to think about. Oh, in conference games. Okay. Interesting. Those other NFC common opponents. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they both lost to Arizona. So that actually helps the Cowboys that they lost. Helps the Cowboys a lot that they lost. So they have it. Do they have it sewn up? Actually, I'm curious. They both lost to the 49ers, both lost to the Cardinals. So they clinch with a win or a Philly loss. Yeah. So they yeah. haven't clinched it yet. They'll, they'll clinch it this week, though. All right. Are you ready for the marquee game of the week? The one we're all Whoa. waiting for? Buffalo Bills versus the Miami Dolphins. This game's going to be in Buffalo. Please. Wait, is this game in Buffalo? No, it's in Miami, right? No, it's in Miami, yeah. Yeah, fuck. Well, please tell me you saw that montage video of dudes just setting themselves on fire and jumping through tables. I did. I did see that. That was awesome. That was so cool. Give me the bills. Yeah, give me the bills too. But it would be such a... This is like such a bills game to lose just because they've been playing so well and now the pressure's on. They're just going to fucking lose. This is what the bills are. They just can't handle the pressure. Josh Allen's going to go out there. He's going to throw two interceptions, 112 yards. Oh, we get a back to back. Oh, if the Dolphins win, we get a back to back. Ooh, Dolphins, Bills, Dolphins, Bills. Yeah. In Miami? They don't even have to leave. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be kind of crazy, actually. Oh, would they leave? Okay. Hear me out. Uh oh. The Bills purposefully lose this game. Get the tape? It's not going to be a tie. Because, well, who would they play if they win? They'd be the two seed. I would want to win. <laughs> Playing yeah. the Steelers, that'd be a beat down. Yeah. Actually, the Steelers might be the Bills kryptonite, though, because if you really think about it, all they do is just play scrappy games at the Steelers. The Bills, they play scrappy just because they make mistakes all the fucking time. Or they play Jacksonville if the Ravens win, which I think is going to happen. I would still, yeah, okay, I would... I talk myself. Buffalo out of wins. Team. Winning in Buffalo's a, Buffalo wins. They, they want to win this game. They want to win the division. It's supposed to be their division after all those years of torture with the Patriots, and they just can't fucking sustain success. It's crazy. Wait, what wait, the hell did you just do? Yeah, sorry. Who did you guys have winning the Jags t- Titans game? Jags. Jags. Okay. Oh, so you oh. fucked it up. Yeah, I fucked it up. Sorry. Could- Damn. Okay. Now this is a little more interesting. So say, say they lose to the the Dolphins. If everything goes as is on the screen, <clears> oh, so they out. then they okay, out, so yeah, because those win. other teams they won, yeah, win. because yeah. Ja- if Jacksonville wins and Pittsburgh wins, they're out and they lose. Mm. Yeah, they need to win. Must okay, win. So they need to win. Yeah. Hey, designate this game. Put it down. Must win. Yeah, I mean, That's I don't crazy. like the matchup for, and it's Sunday night football too. That's gonna be so exciting. Buffalo. That's gonna be such a fun fucking game. Well, and we'll see. I mean, by the time the game comes, they might not have to win. Because I think the Ravens win. 
True. Yeah, all the games will be done by the time they play. Because if point. the Ravens win and they lose, they're still in as a seventh seed. But I think you have to prepare and you have to like get yourself focused, ready. Like you have to win that game. And that's fair. That's fair. But but it does it does loosen the be, butthole up a little yeah. bit, knowing that yeah. it's not that you know it's not the end of the world. Not every mistake right. isn't you know. I got you. Interesting. So after the final, so who do we got? So in the AFC, I'll go down the list here. First seed, Baltimore Ravens. Number two seed, Buffalo Bills. Number three seed, Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, number four seed, and the winner of the AFC South is going to be the Jacksonville Jaguars. The wildcard teams in the AFC are going to be the Cleveland Browns at the five seed, Miami Dolphins at the six seed, Houston Texans at the seven seed. So that's our AFC playoff bracket right there. Moving on to the NFC, we have San Francisco in the first seed, Dallas winning the NFC East and being the second seed. Detroit with the third seed, Tampa Bay taking the NFC South and winning that division <clears throat> and becoming the fourth seed. Excuse me. Sorry about that. And our wildcard teams there are going to be the Philadelphia Eagles at the five seed, Los Angeles Rams at the six seed, Green Bay Packers at the seventh seed. I feel pretty good. I feel like we're going to be pretty close on a lot of this. I will say Philadelphia is definitely has the best draw in those wildcard games against Tampa Bay. Oh, absolutely. The Matt Stafford game, though. That's what I'm rooting for. Matt Stafford, fucking Lions, uh, Rams. That would be fun. But can you imagine how heartbroken the Lions fans would be? Do you think he they loses lose on that purpose? Game? He's like, I already got mine. I don't care. Just fucking throws the game. No. <laughs> you, don't think he, you don't think he's like he's thinking about it a little bit? No. And he never. He was never true a Detroiter. Eminem would treat him away. Upset. Yeah, but so he could win a Super Bowl, and he did. Yeah. He's got to return mm. the favor. He signed that deal. Mm. It's a blood oath. That. Yeah, it looks you good. You and though. yours versus me and mine's. Mm. Um, so that's week 18, final week of the season. I'm actually I'm just so excited for the playoffs to start. That's just really like <clears throat> regular season is getting to the point where it's just kind of starting to bore me. So I'm just really excited for the playoffs to start, to be honest. I mean, how can you even say that? What? How in like a month's time. In the month's time, oh, we're going to be gonna wishing be that we had. Yeah. Yeah, but then we got baseball to look forward to. Yeah. What in the world is that? What? Oh, you're throwing up again. Bring the throwing up again. Jesus. I can't. I can't. Anyway, all right, moving on. Let's uh, get towards the back end of the show here. Uh, Tyler, there's a certain list that came out today. I'll give you 30 I'm minutes. I'm not. To go. I, I don't even know who's on it. Who's on it? I don't know who's on it. I didn't look. I figured you'd be wired in. Why the hell would I care? I didn't even know it came oh, you're, out. You're, you're the money man. You know? You're moving the money around for people. You're moving the money. Money, money, money. What the hell does that even have to do with anything? Flights. I mean, you got to figure out how to pay for those private planes. Move the money around. That's what you do, right? All right, so Tyler clearly didn't come prepared to talk about the. No, I didn't know. What the... <laughs> didn't know what was released. I was just, I was just kidding. No, what I do want to talk about though is the national championship. We have the Washington Huskies taking on the Michigan Wolverines. Uh, month this Monday night, right? Monday at seven. Yeah, I'm surprised it's uh, not like ten o'clock at night. And Brandon, I want you, <laughs> Brandon, I want you in here too because I know you're a big college football guy. I'm curious to hear you guys' thoughts and what you think is going to happen, and give me your predictions, um, please. Also, we can't go too, too deep into it, though, unfortunately. Why can't we, we go too, too deep into it, Tyler? We got to go. You got to tune into Cornhusker Connection to get the full in-depth analysis. And when do those podcasts drop, Tyler? On, mm -hmm. on excuse me, Brandon, when do those podcasts drop again? I don't think I can hear Tyler there. On your day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Well, uh, hope we just look every day and hopefully you'll find it one of these times. Yeah. Turn on notifications uh, and you don't even have to look. Ooh, boom. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and yeah, just honestly hit autoplay on everything, please. Yeah. For the love of God. Just please. plug your phone in and let it rock. Yeah, just let it rock. It's like, I mean, you're not using it, probably. Just let it rock. Yeah. The YouTube Premium Pass. Just, uh, uh, I yeah, will no, please, start. You. I will start. Um, if Michael Penix Jr was a right-handed quarterback, he would be the best college quarterback to ever play the game of college Did you football. see that reverse angle of him throwing as a righty? Uh-huh. 
It's it's it said the caption said point. this will change your mind about Michael Penix and it did it changed my mind about yeah. Michael Penix. I mean, I I, it just it. proves my point. Um, I mean, there's no place in the game for left-handed quarterbacks, unfortunately. So um, that's my thought. Woof. Counterpoint: Josh Rosen. He had the hot tub though. Josh Rosen wasn't a lefty. I don't think he was Are you sure? He was sure. definitely a right-handed quarterback. Hey, Brandon, cut this. Cut this part. <laughs> <laughs> what handedness was Josh Rose? Anyways, Brandon, what are your thoughts on the national championship game? I, it's insane that people still think that Washington's – they've they've been underdogs in three of their last four games, and yeah. neither of them have been pretty – well, I guess last – the Texas game was pretty close. Is this Michigan bias coming out? No, oh, I you know I think Michigan's really good, and they I wish it would have beat Alabama by more, but um, yeah, I, I I got nothing. I just think that Washington's. Very, I think Chef uh, Chef Penix is going to be in the kitchen all day long, and I don't think they have any answer for him. They do not. The Alabama Michigan game was kind of boring. I will admit. Um... But Michigan just has the best roster in the country, and I think that's what wins you these games. We see it every single year in the national championship. The semifinals are always electric, and then just the best team wins in the national championship, as it should be. I'm not complaining at all. Um, also, breaking news, Josh Rosen is, in fact, right-handed. So you were right. Yeah. I know ball. That's on me. I didn't sweat that much while you're looking that up. If, if you were yeah. Cause I, I you Well, I was honestly – the only time I think about Josh Rosen, I think about that hot tub in his dorm room. I don't think I've ever actually seen him play football. So – well, so I'm playing the Broncos one time. That was pretty cool. Did it? Didn't you go for like nine, nine for eighteen, one hundred twelve yards? Awful. Yeah, I, I low key thought he was going to be the best quarterback in that draft. I did too. I'm not. I'm, I'm not ashamed to say it. I did too. Again, I go back to the hot tub every single time. Mm-hmm. Jimmy Clausen. Yeah, that's uh, Sean McVay or not Sean McVay. Uh, God damn it! Who's the other ESPN guy? Todd McShay. Todd there McShay. Yeah, that was his guy. Mm-hmm. Um. Well, okay. Well, thank you guys so much for your in-depth analysis and insight onto this national championship game. I think Michigan wins. I think it's going to be a big blue party. Uh, I'm excited for him. I'm really happy for Jim Harbaugh. I hope it uh, hope it happens. And dude, don't don't start taking your fucking victory lap yet. Who? Me? You? I'm not taking a victory lap. I'm just you know what I'm saying. I'm, just, I'm happy for him. You know, happy for everybody. Happy for all I involved. Can't wait for them to get shit pumped by 35. Um. Oh yeah, no, I heard this on PMT. We don't have to talk about this. It's just I honestly thought it was a foregone conclusion that Michael Penix was going to be a first round draft pick, but no, that might not be the case. He's old and he got hurt a lot. He's older. He's not that old. Uh, and Fucking... but for a quarterback coming into the league, he's old. God, who was it? His name was Whedon. Brandon Whedon from the Oklahoma yeah. State. He's 28 years he's old. He got drafted in the yeah. first round. Back in the first yeah. round, yeah. Good old Cowboys. That's no. crazy. No, it was the Browns. No, that was the Browns, right? Yeah, yeah it was the Browns. Well, it was Oklahoma State Cowboys. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's what you meant, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. I knew what you meant. <clears throat> well, boys, I don't have anything too much. Uh, if you guys have any other last comments, concerns, questions, please feel free to air them out. Go Big Red. I am champion. <laughs> All right. That's it. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in to this episode of Sundays with the Sprinkles. Uh, as always, I am joined by Tyler Sprinkle and Brandon Shanahan. My name is Brett Sprinkle. Please, if please, if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe. Go to uh, anywhere your podcasts are available. We're on Apple. We're on Spotify. We're on YouTube. I highly recommended watching the YouTube, especially this episode, because it gets a little weird. Um, Mm -hmm. if you don't really have any visual reference for what's going on. Um, But as always, you can find episodes every Friday. We appreciate you all, even if you are listening. If you're not listening, hey, we'll get you next time. But thank you, everybody, so much. SpongeBob song compilation. Oh, yeah. Drop a comment. See uh, what your favorite SpongeBob is. Tell us what your favorite SpongeBob is. SpongeBob episode is. Bye.